And why is it called? Because it, like, it looks like a turkey. It looks like a turkey. Well, we just do the hand hug thingy. Oh, hand hug? Hand, hand hug. hug. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> no, I, I, by the way, I'm shooting this on my... Is this frame right? Is it frame? No, you're, you're like, I mean, it's yeah. super close. I mean, you gotta like... Okay, so I don't... I actually... There you go. I actually forgot my camera at home, so I'm using my cell phone as a video camera. I don't know how well this works, but we're gonna give it a shot. These are my neighbors over here. And then these are my other neighbors over here. And then that's my other neighbor way over there. He's by himself. I wave hi to him. Hi. And then she's over there, wave hi. Hi. Uh, that's what I do. I just do this. Her dad, this is my my neighbor did this for me. So she it's her right there. I also bought a sticker from her too. I am an adult because I am an adult. I actually my favorite part of cosplay is the the social connotation. I always do group cosplay. So it's a way for me to like spend time with my friends. And then she was like, oh there's these, you know, communities because we were talking about like it would be cool if everyone got together and dressed up as their favorite character. Like that actually exists. I'm like, what? That I could come to these things. That so many people are interested in the same thing that I liked. And some people like on a much bigger scale, like cosplays that take forever to build. Were you surprised at how many people were into the same thing you were? I did. Because I think in our high school there weren't that many. Uh, I love Star Wars. I'm part of the 501st Legion. Uh, I hate Ewoks. <laughs> I wanted to show the true terror that they're not the sweet little teddy bears that they are, but they're vicious creatures that we're going to eat Han Luke. They're going to make uh, uh, Chewie into a rug. What do you think they were eating at the celebration? We, we found out like this anime is kind of, we think is a little obscure. Not a lot of people talk about it on the internet, but we walked around the halls. Everybody was just freaking out, like, oh my gosh, I love that show. And we were just like, People recognize us, and this is the first time we wear a costume where we both look the same, and people want to take pictures of both of us together. And I, I feel like that's like it's, it's the perfect costume for us. Uh, wait, there's actually a parents' lounge here at AWA. You saw this? I saw it. I, I it's in the Renaissance to walk past it, and it's literally called a parents' lounge. So what's inside a parents' lounge? Parents. What are they doing? Are they on their phones? Or are you just drinking just coffee? Hanging out, waiting for the kids. I guess uh, it's. A small room. There wasn't too many people in it as far as I saw, but... So it's almost like a parental waiting room. Yep. It's like the dentist's office. <laughs> it's literally like the dentist's office. They want to be parents all the time. The problem is wearing something like this all day is kind of a nightmare. And anyone who's done an armor cosplay will tell you that because they know firsthand. So one thing I like to do is I like to find a character that's semi-well-known or not very really well known, but just fun, kind of. And they're in regular like clothes, nothing major. Like, for instance, last night I dressed in khakis, blue polo, and a blue windbreaker. And I actually was in character. And if you ever watch Dark Knight Rises, and the first, literally first character you see is the CIA agent that I was cosplaying. And he has this whole scene with Bane, and it's, it's really interesting. And no one knew who I was for a long time, but I found one Bane cosplayer last night, and we had the whole dialogue. So it was totally worth it at that point. Um, meeting other Dragon Age people. Yeah, we were new yeah. to the fandom and had never met anybody else that cosplays it or plays it. So we were just like, Dragon Age! Yeah. And there's so much of it here. No <laughs> friends. So. New friends. Um, yes. yes. All of it is handmade by me. Uh, this, this, her bow, all of this, and all of this is handmade by me. <laughs> so what's the reaction here at a convention? Uh, like, No? <laughs> 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 he, he's the one who I think the people. Yeah. People? Being able to be around weird people who are as weird as us. Like, I just love it. You just love it? I can, what I just did, just being able to stand there and make weird faces, and everybody's like, oh yeah, they're Wolverine, Storm. Yeah, that makes sense. It's actually uh, just 3M reflective tape. So when you take it with the flash, it'll it's photoreactive, and that's what causes us to glow. It's so funny, they'll, they'll take one picture without the flash, and then we'll tell them to use the flash, and then they're we like freak out, it's, it's so great. <laughs> Crazy Dragon Con last year. Had a full Goku outfit. Decided not to wear it. Instead, I just wore the sleeveless Saiyan armor and used that as a tank top and went around all night making like terrible Jersey Sword jokes. 
yeah. and that evolved into the hip hop group that we have here at MomoCon earlier this year. And uh, started as Broku then, and now we're about 20 people strong in this hip hop group. So I mean, it just started off with something stupid, and now it's become something pretty fun for a whole group. It's like a home con for a lot of people that don't even live in Atlanta, so it's like a home con for out of state people. I like the description, a home con for out of state people. Yes. Wait, isn't that Dragon Con? Dragon Con's a party con for out of state people. Oh, dry, dry. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves it. They scream Squirrel Squad. You can take pictures. Take picture. cool. And they'll, they'll, like, they'll go with it. Yeah, they go with it. Hug them, hug their leg. <laughs> I mean, it's Squirrel Squad. It's Squirrel Squad. Really so, you know you're a cosplayer when you literally watch any TV show and think, oh my god, I want to cosplay that. Your hands are covered in. And you're up till three in the morning or later working on a cosplay that you're not even really done with yet. <laughs> you spend more money on material than you do food. You always carry safety pins or hot glue with you. The minute you watch something, you go, I want to wear that. When you're watching anime and you're just kind of strategizing which character you're going to be on which day of the con. <laughs> That's probably what That's a good sign. Yeah. How about you? You know you're a cosplayer when you go shopping and you're like, hey, I could use that as a prop, or that would make a really good outfit. Very true. Uh, you know you're a cosplayer when? You know you're a cosplayer when we feel weird not cosplaying. <laughs> That's a very <laughs> legit. You're so close to it. I mean, I wouldn't ever miss this. Like, if I miss this, I'd be really sad. Like, that's what keeps me coming back every year. What, what, what atmosphere? Just a lot of like friendly people. 